so then the next question is sort of what what state am I in? Like what state is my disease in? And so we think about we think about this in a in a couple of different ways. But the first thing I I want to kind of just talk about is is what what's the phase point? So I do want to start by giving you some good news, which is most people end up living with sarcoid as opposed to dying from sarcoid. While we do unfortunately have people that do die as a result of sarcoidosis, it is really not the biggest um, population. So, you know, we really want to to help you get through this. We want to talk about the different stages, or um, and I'll talk about stages next, but the different phases that we have basically. So here, what we think about is we think about active disease, and then we think about remission. And so, in rem people who are in remission is where the sarcoidosis has gone to sleep. It's dormant. Um, and it's really not in an active state. So it may still be there, right? You may still have all those granulomas and that grain of sand might still be there. And so your body is just kind of waiting there, but since those grain of sands aren't multiplying, the sarcoidosis is not multiplying. So that's good. And then you can get relapse and relapse is actually where you have a flare of it. So you, you were doing fine and now all of a sudden you start to have symptoms again and the sarcoid is now active again. And then the other, the other um, common thing that we see is about, uh, is a chronic disease. And so chronic disease is more like diabetes and hypertension where it's just always there. We work to keep it in control with medications, um, lifestyle modifications and um, things like that. And then the last one, which is kind of interesting is something called burnt out. And the way I think about burnt out is that um, the military came in that built all these um, all these these cocoons around things and uh, took care of the problem and now the military is gone but we're still left with all these cocoons everywhere so while they may actually show up on a cat scan they're not doing anything to impair people and people can actually be back to normal with even some of the stuff on their ct okay so now we can talk a little bit about this prognosis and staging. So it was very unfortunate. Somebody once upon a time decided that the smartest thing to do was to break sarcoid up into stages, which is very unfortunate because when I think of stages, staging, I think of cancer and um, it should not be considered the same way at all. I wish we could rephrase it or rename it to something else. Unfortunately, I do not have that power. Um, but it's important for you to just at least understand what, what we mean by that. So stage one is actually really, um, and all these stages are really mostly designed around the lungs. This is how it was done originally. So stage one is where you have just lymph node swelling in the lungs. Stage two is where you have these granulomas in, that are in the lung tissue. And then you also have the lymph node swelling. Stage three is where you have just granulomas in the lungs, no lymph nodes swollen on the CT scan. And stage four is where you have permanent scarring. Now, stage one, most people who have stage one, with just those lymph nodes, we find that it tends to just go away on its own and nobody needs treatment. Stage two and three, typically go into sort of these three patterns um, where we treat them and they go into remission or they end up having what we call remitting and relapsing where you kind of, you, you, you go into remission and then you relapse and you have a flare and then you get treated again, you go into remission again. And that's probably what I see most commonly. And then there's the small percentage of people that have chronic disease. And then with stage four, this, this, this perm permanent scarring one is actually where they can either have chronic disease or patients can have burnt out sarcoid. I do want to mention that there is a stage zero. <clears throat> stage zero this must have been an afterthought for somebody, but stage zero is when you actually have sarcoidosis that's outside of the lung, meaning that it, th there is no lung involvement. And remember, 90% of patients have lung involvement. So we do know that it's an important piece of it, um, but there are some people who actually have no lung involvement and we just call it stage zero. We do not have great um, data on the trajectory of patients who have stage zero. So I can't really tell you which one these fall into, but I would say the majority of the ones that I know that have stage zero would fall into the stage two or three pattern of remission, or they have re remitting and relapsing or even chronic disease. 